Emma, thank you for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, Riz mentioned Crazy Rich Asians. It has been a magnificent, a huge hit, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, it's been incredible. It's been beyond what any of us could have imagined, really. Yeah, who'd have thought? It's the first mainstream Hollywood film for 25 years to feature Asians in the lead and an all-Asian yeah. cast. So, yeah, it's been a long time. I should also point out that um, don't let the title kind of put you off. You don't, you don't have to be crazy or, or rich or Asian to enjoy the film. You know, you can be, like, you know, of sound mind, you yeah. know, reasonably well off and, and right, and hopefully you should enjoy the film. Which I suppose, I mean, you know, you think about it, I guess uh, they had, there was a movie, as you said, 25 years ago that came out of Hollywood, and it did pretty well. The but Joy this, Luck Club. Yeah. The Joy Luck Club. Yeah. But this has been such a huge hit, so presumably this would pave the way for more. Well, that's the hope, I think. Mm. You know, I'm amazed that this film has been made. Like, even five years ago, I would not have expected this but film to be made. Just, it's you a know, joy. a film that has an all-Asian cast, you know, there is, there is barely any kung fu. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> no one's fleeing a village. You know, it is like, yeah. it's just people. <laughs> I was, a little, I was a little disappointed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, but no, it, it means so much to so many people. Like, the, the box office success is, is the cherry on top, but, but it's really been people's kind of personal reactions to the film, which have been incredible. Well, I want to get into that, but before we do, uh, tell us what the plot is. So, well, as you saw from the trailer, it's, it's about an Asian-American economics professor who gets taken to Singapore by her boyfriend to go to his best friend's wedding, and she has no idea that he comes from this essentially aristocratic Singaporean family who Hugely are richer wealthy, than God. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a kind of fish-out-of-water story. It's, it's, it's been described as, like, the rebirth of the rom-com. Uh, she's got to negotiate kind of um, snobby family members, you know, a slightly scary a potential mother-in-law and crazy ex-girlfriends. And, yeah, it's... Um, and you play, uh, really like, the most glamorous, at least on the surface, one of the most glamorous women in that aspect of society, don't you? Yeah, so I play a character called Astrid, who is the cousin of Nick, the, uh, the main guy. And she's kind of got her own thing going on. Her marriage is falling apart whilst the two main characters are kind of coming together. And she has a quite insecure husband. And, yeah, it's kind of the counterpoint to the main story. But she's, she has a very nice wardrobe. She's, um, she's, a, kind of, she's a layered character. Um, so she's, she kind of doesn't buy into the trappings of, of, of wealth. But she's and, got... Yeah, you're right, because she seems to... I mean, but she hides it from her husband. You, you point out he's insecure. Yeah, yeah. And she goes at one stage... I remember there's a scene like she goes out and she treats herself, buys herself some super expensive jewelry, but then she hides it from him, didn't she? Yeah, she does. You see her, you see her buying these incredible earrings that cost like two million or something, and, and she kind of hides them, uh, you know, with the groceries. And yeah, she's kind of not not completely comfortable about who she is. Um, and the kind of the arc of the film is her kind of regaining her voice, regaining her power. Um, the, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the, it's a beautiful, you know, beautifully designed film, very glossy and lovely. The, the earrings and stuff like that, when you buy them, presumably they're all fake, are they, in the movie, just standard? God, no. No, they were real. So they were, like, proper expensive earrings? They were really expensive. There was a bodyguard following me around the whole time. <laughs> How much you know, were those just earrings? Just making sure that I didn't accidentally drop one down the toilet. I mean, I was paranoid the whole time. So they might... How much would they be worth, the earrings you had to film? Millions. More than, you know, more than any flat I've ever wow. lived in. Yeah. I mean, that's... Crazy. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> But you, I presume you've been linked gear, I would imagine, expensive gear as well, haven't you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I didn't get to keep the earrings, by the way. You didn't get to keep no, them? No, no, no. no. But is it weird when back. they... Have you been lent expensive things oh to wear? Oh, my God, I, once I did a shoot in, um, outside the Chateau Marmont Hotel in Los Angeles and there was this bodyguard that had to look after the whole thing. He had a gun and everything and he was being like a bit of a show-off and we were shooting in a convertible car and then we suddenly changed location. We got into the people carrier and the guy was just like, <gasps> where's the bag? <laughs> he oh left the fucking case on the side of the road. <laughs> I was like, dude, you literally had one drop. <laughs> 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 we, uh, we circled back round, and luckily it was there. But it was, wow. Honestly, it was about £10 million pounds worth of jewelry. What? Amazing. Oh yeah. I did that with my kid once. She was still in the carrier, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, though. Uh, OK, so let me ask you about how your mum and dad felt this movie. Because your, your parents, uh, or your grandparents, they escaped from China. Is that well, why? they left China, yeah, around the time and of got the, into a, yeah, the cultural, cultural revolution, revolution and got into Hong Kong, yeah. and then made their way over to the UK, and they settled yeah. up way up in Scotland in Greenock. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's now right. I imagine there probably weren't a lot of other Asian faces in Greenock at that time. Yeah, there were loads, loads. <laughs> no, no, <there> were. <laughs> um, no, it was it was an interesting time. Um, I think it wasn't always easy. That you know, people can can be ignorant with, with you know people they haven't encountered before yeah. and cultures they haven't encountered before. But yeah, that's where my mum grew up, and it's where I used to go every Christmas to you know when my grandparents were alive to kind of spend every Christmas up there. So yeah. And and what did your mum think of the movie? Was it? I mean, it must have been a joy for her to see you in in a film as big and successful as this. But did it touch her in other ways? 
Yeah, absolutely. I well, they, I brought them to the the London premiere last week, and they saw it for the first time. And I spoke to my mum afterwards, and she was really emotional. And she said that there was a song on the soundtrack that there are kind of there are modern songs, and there are also kind of old classic jazz numbers, you know, interweaved in. And she said there was a song on the soundtrack that she hadn't heard since her childhood. Um, and it's a song that her mum used to sing to her dad oh. and to her and you know they're long passed away now but she never expected to hear um, that song in a mainstream wow. Hollywood movie you know it's it, it's been it's been really kind of momentous for, for lots of it's personal reasons thing. you know my mum and dad are actually here they're are they? Loaded. yeah my mum might know something well, yeah. there they are I don't know where Hello, they're. There. Oh, there they are hi, hi. <laughs> nice to see you thank you for coming no, you shot, what did you shoot? It's set in Singapore, but you yeah. shot some of it on... Where, where's the Kuala island Lumpur. where they go? Oh, we shot in um, the Four Seasons Resort in Langkawi. Wow. It wow. was amazing. And do they have much wildlife there? Do you have...? There was, there was a lot of wildlife and kind of, you know, your, your rooms are right kind of in nature. You wow. know, if you left your patio doors open, you know, you'd come back to your room and it'd be overrun by the local monkey population, <laughs> who are pretty leery, actually. Hold it, know. so monkeys are allowed in the rooms or just if um, you...? No, I don't think they're meant to go in there, but if you're a bit absent-minded and you happen to leave your patio doors open wow. <laughs> and send and some they, food out. Do they know how to open the fridge and get they're in the minibar? They're pretty smart. I bet they are. They're pretty smart. They're bolshy. Like, Aquafina, one of my cast members, she kind of was like, right, I'm going to get that back from whatever they've taken, and one of them, like, slapped her in the face. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Gemma, lovely to have you here. As I said, Crazy Rich is a great movie. Go and see it. Lovely to have Gemma with us. Gemma Chan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.